There we go. Wanna do another one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Uta. And I'm uh, Steve. There yeah. There the espresso go. couple. The, yeah. It, there we go. Bolivia, Seoul, Dave. Manana. There you go. So <laughs> tomorrow, manana means tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Where's it from? Oh, Bolivia. 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 There it is. <laughs> yes, we're going to do a Bolivia, huh? We're going to try some Bolivia coffee today and see how it turns out. Bolivia produces some of the most delicious coffee in the world. Although coffee has been grown commercially since the 1800s, Bolivia is not a well-known coffee origin. Production's very limited, and I saw that in other countries there. There was a new generation of Bolivian coffee farmers dedicated to producing high quality coffee. Great, well, let's find All out. right, this is a stellar collection. Let's find You're out. You're just super picky about coffee. Yeah, USDA huh? organic. Very nice. Very nice. Let's open it up. Not even a date on there. That surprises me. Yeah, it does, huh? Mm -hmm. We're getting this way. Wow, that's fancy. Yeah, let's just get those out in the beginning. That's kind of weird. Yeah, the air thing's way down there. That's all right. Where is it? Right here? Yeah. Because you can open it anywhere. I guess they put different weights in this bag. Mm. Yeah, patience. Mm. Smells good. See how the smell is? It's a big bag. It's a big bag. Mm -hmm. Let's get a little, let's get a look at them. Whoops. They're smaller beans, mm. right? Yeah, they look. They're very medium. Very medium. Very medium, these. Um, like maybe even a light coffee, huh? Yeah, maybe even a light. Yeah. That's probably a light coffee, but we'll show you. Yeah, there we go. But they're evenly roasted. They mm. seem pretty good. But yeah, we're not into, uh, oh, let's get. Watch you, my curry. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Let's try one out. All right. I think this is the day I'm, you're going to make them too, huh? Not, not this one. You don't want to make this one? Mm -hmm. no, i got to have some confidence. First. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's 12 years. It's going to take a little bit. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's going to yeah. take some pep talk. Okay. <laughs> we'll get a pep talk going. There we go. Let's get the, they're smaller. Be, but we'll anyway. see. You just never know, though. Lania. Well, what are you doing over here? We'll make this. What are you making again over there? Um, curry. Curry. I'm trying to, but from scratch. Yeah. So, excuse me. Well, you've you made it a few times. It's good. And Kaylee yeah. too. I mean, make curry. Kaylee too. made curry. Yeah, that's I right. I never made curry. You never before. made curry. Before. And she didn't text me back to help me out. I know. That's so. the way she is. She doesn't text. Me. All right, here we go, these babies. We should have a new line soon. All right, here we go, huh? But they're both ready. This one's going to pop in a second. I just steamed some milk on this one. Um, simplicity goes a little quicker than the Mars machine. There we go. I like beans, though. Cool. We'll put the correct amount of beans. Next time, Mom, we're just going to make the coffee. Yeah, she didn't want to commit to this one on camera. Mm. Right, there we go. Grind it up pretty good. Um, not really, it looks a little clumpy, but it's really raining today. But we'll use the little, we'll use the little tool anyway. Helps out a bit. Let's see how it tamps here. Oh, pretty nice. It's medium, so I'll give it a harder tamp. Here we go. We're going to try the Bolivian coffee. Isn't that weird? That movie where they went to the, in, um, where the bank robbers, the cowboy bank robbers, went down to Bolivia, I think, to escape in that famous movie. I can't think of it now. There we go again, the exact amount. It was that weird movie with Robert Redford. God, I can't think I of the names. What's, what's it? I wouldn't even remember that anyway. 
I know. Because you're from Germany, would oh. remember it, maybe. No, you probably saw it. If we we were room, it's an old. But anyway, they went to Bolivia to escape to rob banks there, but it wasn't. <laughs> It didn't work out for him. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. There it is. That's the one. They jumped off the waterfall and they went to Bolivia. Then they got in trouble. But anyway, here we go. We got the Bolivian coffee. The one into a cup. All right. There we are. I always say that, but just the live shots. We're not going to cut it out and make a um, fancy triple shot and look for certain angles. angles and right and pretend it's the best thing because you really never know what a shot ta is like until you actually are there making and tasting it with all those pictures and with their certain things. This one's sweet and sour, but you know. Coffee is never actually sweet. It might have an edge that you might think, but it, I would be a little suspect of it. Okay, we have our first drip here. Let's go ahead. Into the shot glass. Feels good. Oh, look. It really went right in. So using maybe this little distributor, that's pretty good. And um, so plus you got a little squeak. It's just from the fork there since it's a little wobbly and all that. A certain angle it squeaks a little. Hear it? That's all right. But go ahead. That came out pretty good. Let's see if you can. Yeah, that's not bad. See how this one goes. Yeah, it had just a little bit of drip started. Now you know this might show an example that um, often the little distributor does give you a little better um, thing with not so much with you know the whole channeling thing but anyway it just coincides better but it could just be this coffee but you never know unless you did so much but yeah that's really nice I, I believe I tamped this one maybe a tad stronger than the other one we're gonna go ahead and pop these babies off Maybe I'll pop. Wow. Some latte art on there. All right. <laughs> it almost looks like a little cat. Yeah. I can't sure. do anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to do. Bolivia. <laughs> Why are you waiting on I me? like to see your first. Oh. Let's, let's see if your face winces up or anything. <laughs> Then I'd be like pre-prepared how things worked out. I don't know. I don't really care for it. It's too it. medium, huh? Too medium for me. Yeah, it's it's a little too medium. It's um, ah, those small beans. I mean, I like the packaging, and it might be good for many people, but I don't care for it. Just the taste. It has that aftertaste. I don't even know how to explain it. Yeah, that. kind of. Like, it lingers like a, on the tongue like too much. A, yeah, we like a medium dark roast. This is way too yeah, light. Yeah, way too light. It's hard to find always a dark roast. but And sometimes a dark roast says it's dark, but it's medium. But it's, a, yeah. it's all right. And we just started drinking our Hawaiian coffee. Yeah, so we have been difference. drinking. Because we didn't have it for a while. Because we had so much other coffee to drink. Yeah, we still do. But it's a little lighter roast, you know. It's not horrid or anything. It just is nothing exciting about it. Mm -mm. It's just general coffee like you'd get anywhere. Yeah, like so many it. places are. They just taste, you know, they have all these things. But it's just a general coffee. Yeah. Not my taste. No. So we'll be back again with our, I have the What's next one. next one? Uh, the next one is Brazil. Brazil? Brazilian. Okay. I tried to find some of the further in South America, but you can't really find coffees there very easily. So Brazil and Venezuela, uh, Suriname's one little country mm -hmm. I had trouble. 
I found some, but they make you order this giant order, a minimum order, so yeah. that's out. I don't want to have that much, because what if it's not very good? And Like this, I mean, I don't care for it. I mean, some other yeah. people, somebody else might so like it. So we're going to have just... Brazil and then Venezuela next. And then I think from there, maybe one more, but then we move into the Caribbean. Oh, that'd be exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's have some new... <laughs> It's true. Uh, We're going to make some of our regular, yeah, because this is really our medium good. dark. It's just, it doesn't have a strong enough flavor for us. It's too, but you know, it's like a standard coffee shop mm -hmm. coffee. They all taste like this, exactly. unless they're really bad, like a lower grade Starbucks Yeah, it's not or a lower, definitely. like a tourist area coffee where they have the cheapest beans might be worse. But this is like your general standard medium, nothing Nothing spectacular, just a medium. But anyway, that's our honest thing once again. And um, we're going to keep on going. Mm -hmm. Next time Brazil? you're going to... Yeah, Brazil. And I think you're going to do your coffees on this. Yeah, Except maybe we'll just use our coffee and you should make them and just do a separate show like that. Yeah, because I need to learn how to do that. Yeah. After a long time, 12 that's years right. mm -hmm. off. And then I'm having to make my own coffee. It's yeah. time. Someone All said right. we're... A, cute little espresso couple so <laughs> we're going to be adding that we might even switch our name around a little bit but with the so we, we are kind of the espresso couple well that's right? what i should learn yeah I'm you're going to learn and that's going to be the next mm -hmm. show is is going to just go in and we might do a practice run or maybe we just film hardball first run go yeah. right at it maybe exactly. we'll just do it that way and we'll just film maybe that's a really good idea we'll just film you making that and each coffee but you'll probably get it right the first time saying so you know, like i don't know i never really paid attention yet so no we'll see. you're kind of spoiled <laughs> on it are you yeah i'm a little spoiled so anyway there we go off we go